Welcome back. New insight this morning into the state of mind of former New England Patriots star Aaron Hernandez. Researchers at Boston University are revealing that the former tight end had a severe case of CTE. Hernandez's former fiance is now suing the NFL and the Patriots for allegedly hiding the dangers of football and its connection to the degenerative brain disease and concussions. Joining us right now is Brewer Group CEO, former NFL star himself, Jack Brewer. And Jack, it's good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Great to be so on. researchers say that Hernandez showed signs of memory loss, uh, impulsiveness, aggression, all con you know, attributed to CTE. Is, bottom line, is the NFL responsible? I don't know if the NFL is responsible. I mean, he started playing football a long time before he was in the National Football League. And this opens up the, the conversation. What about the kids in high school? What about all these college football players who have no insurance, have no one really looking after them? This is a violent game. Um, we all know that going into it. You know, the issue, and I've said this before, is the fact that most players really didn't understand what a concussion was. And so you have thousands and thousands of players who've been playing this game being told by their doctors that they were okay. And so now all these revelations are coming out. You know, it, it makes it real. I had, a, I had a difficult time sleeping last night after hearing this story. Jack, I, I want to ask you about this, though. So we know now that Aaron Hernandez, murderer, um, no, a dead uh, had CTE. Does that then open the door for every defense attorney to use CTE mm. potentially as a, as a defense or as an excuse when any individual, even somebody who didn't play professional sports, is, is accused you of You mean like O.J. Simpson? Crime? Like O.J. Yeah. Simpson. That is the difficult part. You know, for me, you know, when you, when you saw the Aaron Hernandez story, obviously it makes you cringe just to think about it. Um, but then you, 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 you look, and for me personally, I just know so many players that I've seen who have started to change. Even now, uh, my age, I'm 38 years old, you know, I even guys that are 28, 30, you know, having memory loss, not being able to sit in light. And, you know, some folks are violent, you know, already. And if you add on the CTE component, we just don't know what the results are. It's just so new. I mean, think about it. There's been a, now with Aaron Hernandez, 112 players tested for CTE. 111 of those uh, all had CTE at death. That's 99%. That's scary. There's nothing to do for this? I mean, in terms of helmets, in terms of precautions, there's nothing to do to change the fate, you think, in terms of concussions and CTE? I don't think so. This is a game where you're running full speed, and I know one thing, when the kickoff uh, when, I, when I played, I was going to get the ball. And when that mentality is what the game is made out of, you're not going to stop people from bashing into each other. Jack, you mentioned, you know, Aaron started playing, Aaron Hernandez started playing football when he was a kid before he got to the NFL. Parents are involved in the decision about whether a child should do this sort of thing. How do you counsel parents here? Is it, you know, keep your kid out? Should that be our bias or should it be let them play but ask different questions of coaches, of people who are sponsoring these things? I mean, it would be hard to watch Mornings with Memorial <laughs> and put your kid in football. I am not letting my son play football, period. He has no choice. He's not playing football. I deeply feel that this game is going to have to change. There are little kids out there that aren't making these decisions. There's other sports to play, play lacrosse, play soccer, wow. do something. I mean, I'll make that statement on national TV. I had a tough time sleeping last night. And, you know, it's just a sad reality to see a game that is literally killing people's brains. Jack, I, I come at this, uh, totally respect your perspective. I come at this more of the perspective of a fan, though, that loves watching NFL football, that watches to watch that carnage to watch those hits. I, is that I love why it. you watch it? Seriously, Absolutely. It's a That's why anybody sport. watches, it's I a imagine. It's in a soft world. And I, I watch it now as they change. You can't hit this. You can't do this. We're taking this away. Is the game ever going to be the same? I, I, and, and is that just, I mean, obviously you don't want guys to get hurt, but they're making millions of dollars mm -hmm. to play a game. Now, if you're stopping into the National Football League, you have no excuse because you know the truth, right? And if you watch a concussion movie, that's real. I was playing during that time. People that know the truth can make that decision. But when you're lying to people and you're not being real with what their diagnosis is, I have an issue with that. Yeah. And so oh, I agree with you. I love to see the big hits, too. But now I cringe because I know the results. Yeah, but so, this applies to boxing and UFC, any MMA. That's so right. Many, a lot of contact So many sports. different Actually, contact sports. sports like basketball and baseball, too. Just one Soccer. wrong move, you can get the... I mean, I've had family I, but, members but with I, that But issue. to the point is that, that the whole... The, the central 
point of football is contact, not like baseball. At every play. I mean, right. you think about a lineman that's sitting over another man, and every snap they're colliding heads. Yep. That's the part of the football game. And if you're a linebacker, even when the ball's not coming your way, you got a gap to fill, mm -hmm. right? If you're a safety on the backside of a run, you got to go down into the, the box with guys that weigh 320 pounds, and you got to fill that gap. Yep. So the game is going to be violent. It is what it is. We can't change that unless we take the helmets Wow. You think more parents are going to say no football, son? No question. Wow. No question. You'll see a huge drop-off in peewee football and Little League football. Holy moly. Jack Brewer, good to see you. Thank you. We'll be right back.